right now. I don't know what's up with him. We think he got a heartbroken. He got a heartbroken. So he and I see you with his heartbroken ass. So we gonna, we gonna leave him be. Roxy is tending to some medical emergencies. We we hope her babies get well. It's flu season, y'all. So yes, babies are kind of sick. Guys are missed. And her birthday coming up, so she don't want to catch no germs. <laughs> Uh, me and Mickey holding it down today. We were supposed to have a gaffe. I'm gonna go on a quick little tirade, real quick, okay. about the unprofessionalism of entrepreneurs in this day. Okay, we talking about entrepreneurs. Go ahead. Like when you, my thing is this: I am a stickler not only for being on time, but also like keeping your word. Like if you make plans, be there. I understand things come up, cancel. But the worst thing is, is no call, no show. You know, we all work them jobs, so it's no call, no show. I, you know, uh, when I worked at DOC, they used to call it going to AWOL. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't come to work, you went AWOL. So, in the spirit of collaboration and professionalism, we just asked like, if you ever schedule anything to come on the show with us, just let us know if you can't make it so we can make other arrangements and we don't look like we ain't got no topics or anything to talk about because we built the whole show around you, but... That's a whole different topic. Oh, I didn't build a show around. I myself. built a segment. Oh, that's one of them. But, I mean, it's okay. You got to understand, we in Baltimore. It's not. Oh, stop. Mickey about, people, Mickey, Mickey about to get y'all a pass. Mickey about to get y'all a pass. But a lot of people are not very professional. And a lot of people have not maybe gone on the proper interviews or really taught the proper techniques on what it's like to kind of promote yourself and everything. But that's neither here nor there. They're not here. So, they be all right. Uh, Blessings know. upon them. Before we get at each other's throats, tell us how your birthday went, Mickey. <sighs> I don't want to talk about my birthday, but my birthday was good. I enjoyed myself. That's all that matter. Yeah. I had my three friends with me, so. Did y'all twerk at Moe's? They went to Moe's, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, we did. <laughs> <laughs> this the bathroom. We turned oh in the bathroom. Oh, my God. Shout out to Brittany, though. Just if you had went to, to the one out Parkville, you could have twerked on the floor. I went to the one in White Marsh. We had it fine. So you should have went to the one out Parkville. It's okay. Right? We had fun. Way. That's all that matters. Okay. So Mickey and the, you know, pre-show with Dom, as we always, y'all should really see the behind the scene takes. It could be bloopers around here. Mickey wanted to talk about the divorce and what is it? The psychological effect on kids yes, or something like that? I feel like, like a lot of people talk about um, either having a single parent home or just having a single mother or even being raised by single fathers. But no one kind of talks about how divorce can affect children mm -hmm. and what it's like to be in a home with first you have two parents and then now they're broken up. And either one moves far away, the other one may have a nasty attitude towards the other one. I mean, I've seen it. I, I mean, I've, I'm a child of divorce, mm. and I've seen it happen. And I know, you know, a lot of people talk about, like, oh, well, I didn't have my father around. I mean, not have my mother around. But a lot of people don't know what it feels like to go from waking up to both parents in your house to none, to your parents remarrying somebody and, you know, it having to accept people. That really, you know, takes a toll on a child, especially at a young age. It makes you look at love a lot differently than people assume that it would. And I don't think a lot of people talk about it. So I, I had one of those unique experiences. I grew up with a single mother for most of my life. Like my mother finally got married when I was like 16. And um, my stepfather, God rest his soul, I adored him. And they were married. And they were married about... It's like a hot minute. They were married like three years before they got divorced. Oh, damn. Mind you, my mother is a hot mess, so I blame the divorce on her. But, like, it was, even at their age, at like 20, 21, it was odd for me when they were divorced because, I, like I said, I love my stepfather. He was like a good man, a good male example to me. Like, when he came in the house, he took me in. Like, he gave me advice. Like, even when I lost my son, like, he was the one who comforted me, like, in the hospital. So, it was like, we had a real tight bond for us not to be biological father and son so that divorce on me was kind of odd because i wanted them to be together and then when my mother started dating other dudes it was like oh, fuck you like you, you ain't my get the fuck. i got a daddy already i like I, I ain't got time for this so well so i don't know about the whole growing up with two parents and then but i have had friends who've gone through divorces with their parents and I've seen it. Like, they started acting out. They just... Yeah, it like, really it's, takes a toll on people. And I don't know why. And you always see a child that grows up with, you know, even mom or dad say, like, well, I wish I had my parent. You know, I wish I had my father around. It's a lot of people that still have their parents in their life and f still feel the same way. Because your parents could have got divorced and moved halfway across, you know, the United States. And you barely see them every now and again. 
Or, you know, for, speaking in my example is that for my father, he he got remarried, but the way that, you know, he announced it to us was not in my and for the way I took it, it was just like, I don't even know this lady. So I reacted out, you know, I straight told him, like, and I'm sorry, daddy, I'm sorry. But um, <laughs> I told him, like, the day before his wedding, I didn't want him to get married. You know, like, I was, like, maybe 12 or 13. But that was a lot for me because it's like I'm now having a stepmother. And it's like, well, who are you to, like, be my stepmom and everything? And not really knowing who she was was, like, now that's an interesting conundrum because I always say this and we always talk about kids staying in children's place and this is an interesting dynamic with it yes. like is it is it one any of the kids business about who their parents marry because one I don't think your kids should be controlling your lives and two is it the responsibility of the parents because to be honest your kids are never going to want you with anyone but their mom their parent their other parent if that's all they've seen. But I'm more to accepting you at the end of the day. Like, with my mom and when she started dating again and everything, you know, she slowly brought him around. And it was more easy to kind of take than it was to just be like, all right, well, here I am. I'm getting married kind of thing. And it's like, well, who is she? I mean, Did you, you know, live with your father and your mother equally? What do you mean? Like, did you spend half the time with him, half the time with yeah, her? Yeah, like, we every weekend we were with my father. Some summers we were with him. So, you know, and I appreciate, like, I love my stepmother now. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, in the beginning, it was a rough situation. But now, I love her to death. Like, Not on her part, though. I know it wasn't on her <laughs> part. And I didn't, like, I didn't, like, blame her for it. I blamed so, more, so my father because it was like, well, it was two things for me. It's like, well, why didn't you just kind of introduce us beforehand before you telling us, like, you about to get married kind of thing? Like, but is that really his job? What you mean? His job like, is to parent, to parent you, yes. But that romantic portion of his life, you're not really so entitled to. let me to. ask you something. Would you marry someone that your child did not like? Yeah, because I would marry someone that my mother and them wouldn't like. One, because I have to be the one to... That relationship is not built for them to like. And a lot of people see things on the outside looking in. Like, that's a small thing about it. Like, if I brought a girl I'm about to marry around, she might, because I might see my family a lot, a lot of times, but she might come to a family gathering, a couple of cookouts, Thanksgiving. That's a small, what do you call it? That's a small synthesis of a, a testing of anything. Like, most of the times, like... You only see your relatives and your in-laws doing holidays. So they don't have to like each other. Y'all have to respect each other. But y'all, my spouse is spending more time with me. My daughter, yes, she spends half the time with me, but she doesn't get to dictate, you know, my, my personal life. Kids don't like it, like a certain, like my, like I've seen kids not like a person because they ask for a cookie and the person said no. And they hold that shit for a year. Like, that's not a good reason <laughs> to not marry somebody. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying no type of situation, but I think I just but I feel mean, like it depends on the mature. Let's say this: it depends on the maturity of the kid. Older kids, yes, you may have to ease them into it. We were old enough to understand. True, you may have to ease them into it. And then it gets the the, the the dichotomy gets more complex when you have more children because there are more personalities to deal with. Like maybe the daughter likes her, the sons don't. Like you can't be making everybody happy. You'll never get in a relationship. Granted, it's true. I mean, I just feel like he could have told us. <laughs> he told you when he was getting Maybe married. Maybe a month before. Maybe like, hey, I'm dating somebody. And then next month, like, hey, I'm getting married. It, is it, was it the responsibility of your mother to help ease that transition? Like, how did she, did she? My mother was very open to it. She was happy that he, he found somebody. So I why couldn't y'all feed off that positivity? How, uh, that why that can my y'all father <laughs> re remarried someone named Valerie. And my mother's name is Valerie. Is oh, that's just a coincidence. <laughs> I can go out to the street and <laughs> find yeah. five Ashleys like right now. I'm just saying. I get like did it's, it's like awesome. why didn't y'all feed off your mother's acceptance of him getting remarried? Um, Shouldn't that isn't that leading by example? Your mother was gracious. I in won't her... speak all my family problems. <laughs> 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 we just gonna leave it at that, okay? Well, I ain't gonna speak all my family problems, but it did make me view like love differently at times because it was like, well, my parents got a divorce. Like, if I get married, you know, I never want to get a divorce and this, that, and the third. But as you get older, it's like, I mean, you. Why did your parents get married? 
What do you mean why did they get married? How old were they when they got married? Oh, listen, I don't remember. They were like in their 20s. They were old enough. Like, was it a pregnancy that insinuated the marriage or would the kid came after the marriage? The kid came. You know, I think they got pre- my mother got pregnant and then they got married. That in- so, that that becomes another know, interesting but I don't dynamic. Know if they got but, engaged. I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, and I, sure. I only I bring this up. I only bring this up. I only bring this up. I only bring this up because I could have easily been in that situation. My daughter's mother get married, married, blah, blah, blah. I feel like some of these marriages were children built. And by that, I mean people felt like, oh, we having kids. Let's try to make this work. It's a good principle in theory. Doesn't lead to long, healthy, lasting marriages or relationships. Say, I'm not too sure. She may have, they may have got engaged. Then she got pregnant when she was pregnant before. I'm not too sure <laughs> of the whole story. You feel me? So oh, we're going to put an asterisk by Mickey's you birds. Know, it's a question mark. But right it does. Sometimes it's, it's the marriage because you got pregnant. Okay, exactly. So I'm just saying, maybe they, they held it together as long as they could to produce a stable home for y'all or a normal life but you know it just was too much to keep together it may have been i mean i'm not upset about it anymore i mean anymore but you were it was because it was kind of like i say hard to take i feel like my brother may have taken it a little more harder than i did because he's older than me so he was around a little bit longer than I was, in a sense, to kind of enjoy the happiness and whatnot. Damn, I see why dudes get this peg as being too emotional. We always take shit too hard. So, <laughs> and he, but he didn't know how to deal with his emotions. I mean, can you imagine being that age and your parents, you know, and you don't know how to deal with that type of emotion? I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. We had to go talk to somebody because it was just like. Shout outs to y'all. Mental health is very under-treated in the black community. See some therapists. Yeah, See you some need therapists. to talk to somebody. I mean, a lot of people think that you, like, it's wrong or, like, oh, well, something. No. It's, you, it feels good at the end of the day. I, I don't think you should sit around and talk to your friends all the time because your friends are going to give you a one-sided opinion of what you should do because they only looking out for you. But, I mean, even if you – I've really gotten a lot of advice even just from random people that I come across. And it's like maybe not like you tell them your whole life story, but they give you little advice, and you be like, "Well, damn! Like you coming yeah. from a nice little place and everything." And but- despite what y'all think, y'all are already self medicating, whether it's with prescribed medicines, herbal remedies, liquor. You self medicating. Working out. A lot of people don't think. I mean, you can get addicted to working out. I don't know why people make it. Hell, seem y'all, like, y'all be medicating you know, with working. Some of y'all work two and three jobs just so you ain't got to deal with your own depression and pain. Yeah, people, like, that's a lot. You got to deal with that stuff. Definitely talk to somebody. If y'all need somebody to talk to, she's still around. She's definitely, and she's African American, so you don't. We ain't talking to no white folks. Shout out to the white folks. True, I believe I, I believe in seeing all black doctors. I'm looking for a black shrink myself. Yeah, I just said it. I'm actually yeah. looking for a black dentist. So if y'all know a black dentist in town, let me know. But um, um Okay. I mean if you want a name, I definitely give it to you. So my mom still has that information. No, I think I need to talk to a a, a black male shrink. So what's <laughs> the difference between male and female? Yeah, it's some vulnerabilities I ain't gonna say to a woman. Okay. That leads into a segue because Mickey always on her woman power feminist shit. We had a whole, I guess, pre battle about women being closely more bonded with the child for the simple fact that they get to carry this little fetus. Yes, I do. I feel like it takes a lot, it takes a big toll on a woman's body to have a child. And at the end of the day, a man will never go through it, a man will never. Deal with the morning sickness, the swollen feet, bed rest, I mean, diabetes. Well, y'all deal with diabetes, but you won't have to deal with diabetes solely because of the child. I mean, people risk their lives having children, and you make it seem as if, like, that's not really a bonding kind of thing. That's not what I said. I I am resistant to you making it seem like that it, it, it supersedes any bond that a male would have with his child. That's what, that's no, what y'all lose that's me not, No, that's not what I said for the next nine months. Now, let's really go back to the root of this conversation. I said to the simple fact that if I was to have a child by you, that I would just let you know that. First of all, she's keeping the baby away from me for the nine months. Let's just point I'm that not, out. But the baby's not born. 
bond. Like, it's in my stomach, though. It's we like, need to be bonding while the baby's in your stomach. We need to bond, or do you need to bond with the baby? The three of us need to learn how to coexist no, as a family I don't family need to coexist unit. with you. Wow. My child doesn't need to look like wow. you. Wow. This is why you don't want me around, because you want the child to selfishly look like you? That is an evil-ass little this thing. It's not. I mean, depending on how this child was even created. Like, was this a one-night stand? Was this something that was planned? I don't know. We probably went a couple of rounds. We could have had a couple of dinner dates. Who knows? But the point is, Mickey was saying that. like it was a no. <laughs> so that means that I want my pregnancy to be to myself. I mean, that's just being honest with you. You ain't make the baby yourself. He, does not ex he or she doesn't exclusively belong to you. You'll have your time when the baby. No, I want my time while the baby's inside. You need to hear my voice. I need to bond. That's why my daughter came out looking like me. Exactly. Did you hear what you just said? So you trying to keep the baby away from me because you wanted to look like you. I just don't see what the problem is, though. Like, That's I feel selfish. Like, but I feel like it's a lot of little situations that happen like this. I mean, like, y'all get someone, that's, that's get someone pregnant, like, oh, well, you know. No, that's because niggas let that be tolerated. You ain't going to push me out. You, let me know when the doctor's appointment is. Or no. Let me know. I'm going to be under you. I'm going to feed you three times a day. I'm going to bring you ice cream. I'm going to bring you cocoa butter. Whatever that body oil is for the stretch marks, all that good shit. I just. <laughs> but my point is, make. All right, so we, I guess we were having the wrong debate, but I don't feel like that you're more entitled to bonding with the baby because it's in your body than any male. I don't, I just feel like our bond is deeper because the, stop. Am, this is my point. You just saying bond, that it's deeper. Like it's not it's it deeper is because we are sharing, like, we are sharing the same body right now. So like, the is my heartbeat. Like, so, we're eating first the of all, that food, first of all, that heartbeat is half mine, that DNA is half mine. That is not all your essence, but you're not carrying the child. So, what that you got a uterus? Congratulations, like, that just sounds very sexist. You are talking about your bond is it's greater a, than the males. That's sexist. It's a deep, I just feel like during the pregnancy. You yes. fail. You fail. Bring me science. Bring me science. Stop talking about your feelings. Bring me I science. Mean, I'm pretty sure it's, it's some pretty deep stuff in there. Probably pregnancy. written by women. I'm pretty sure men doctors. No, they ain't said that shit. You just really just sound uptight. Like for real. Like, I just you like just you sound, sound like, like sound you, you just sound like a woman hater. I mean, a man hater you know, who don't I want don't their, to share their kid with the father of their child. I don't want to sp uh, share my pregnancy with you. Or That's child. not just your pregnancy. We're pregnant. Not Mickey. Mickey Bands is pregnant. Because like the last time I checked, you ain't. You know how the child was brought here. But like I say, you I'm ain't get yourself I'm pregnant. Adamant. I'm very adamant on If you want to, it, right, then say that. Bank. Because then, then if you I've go to a sperm, if you go to a sperm bank, you're entitled to have that whole nine months to yourself. Have the whole 18 years to yourself. I will. I'll have the whole life. But if another, if my sperm or another dude's sperm in the future impregnate you, that is our baby. That is our body. That is our. So effort. what about if it was like, look, I want to go. I can't. I want to go to the sperm bank, but I can't. So I pay you to give me your sperm. First of all, you're not gonna pay me. I give you the sperm for free. <laughs> but <laughs> but I want. See, no, but I, I need a written contract. No, I want an active role in our kid's life. <laughs> I want to act. I want an active role. I get to go to every doctor's appointment. We don't have to spend time with each other outside of no, the doctor's that's appointment. That's not. That's not what I'm signing up for. Yo, either. I said the doctor's appointment. That's all I said. You can have a baby shower and all the rest of that mess to yourself. That's not what I'm signing up. Yo, for. you was a selfish hag. That's crazy. Is it wrong for being selfish? Yes, when it comes to mm -hmm. a child. I mean, my child. Let's, let's translate to this because this turned into Mickey wants to have the baby to herself, and we were talking about how toxic mothers. <laughs> Can do more damage than did beat absentee fathers. <laughs> so now I'm being toxic because I'm being selfish. <laughs> like, like, imagine that 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 mindset you would endow in a child. God forbid, another woman. That, oh, I can selfishly push a man out of the pregnancy of his child uh, uh, because I want to enjoy that on my own. Oh, all this rah rah sisterhood, all, all that feminist crap is good. But to the detriment of your child is not good. The child should hear the voice of their parent, of their father around. Y'all should learn to coexist, like learn how you guys are going to. How are we going to discuss parenting techniques if we not around each other the whole nine months? How are we going to decide on daycares? Are we breastfeeding or are we doing formula? Like, well, obviously, I'm going to make up those decisions right or wrong. It is still my child at the end of the day. I still it's our kid. When the kid was me for a week. And your breasts ain't there. I might decide to get a kid fucking formula for like it. 
No, I just, you know, breast pump and give you the milk. You know, the milk only going to last for so long. You can't breast seven days worth of milk. They have storage for it. You can't breast seven well, that's days worth of here milk. Nor there. Like I say, at the end of the day, the way I want to have my child. But you can't tell my me child. I can't get my baby formula. What do you mean? If it's my child, if I choose to have my child live in a certain type of way, why would yeah, I Yeah, but tell the, on the week you got it. On the week I got it. So now it's like the parenting skills are being separated already. Oh, because, because you decided that the pregnancy I'm already was already the pregnancy was telling you that. Separated. No, the pregnancy I'm already was telling already, you. I'm already telling you. I'm, I'm a grown ass man. So you can't tell me formula. how I'm giving a baby formula. That's see, this is how Mickey wants. Like, so do y'all agree? I wish people call in when we. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm just being selfish, and I don't have an issue with that. That's why I choose to go the route that I choose to go because I want to be selfish. I don't feel like I'm gonna be toxic to the point where it's like, oh no, you can't love someone else or anything else like that. I'm not why? being selfish. Like you don't have to tell them that they seen your actions. My mama, Mickey Bands, only wants me to do the things that she wants to do. My father can't see me, but only under her terms and her situation. And but if I go to a sperm bank, that's what I'm saying, then I don't That's just as bad because now you chose to bring it to it into a single parent home with no male balance. But who said that my child won't have a male in their life? No, just I don't want to hear about the Just because it's not uh, biological means that they can't have a father. I don't want to hear about the I uncle, mean, the cousin, the question. brother, and all that other but stuff. I never said that. If I was to sit around and find someone else, like many people do after they have children, are you sitting around and are you telling me that I, my child won't have a father figure in their life? The Instagram upgrade the thing? Hello? Yeah. What? Oh, you're going to date somebody, right? And then they might become the father figure. I'm asking you. I mean, I don't know. If you went to the sperm bank, I'll play wow. baby daddy to your kid. I don't need someone to play baby daddy to <laughs> my kid. My child will have a father figure. and I, I can play that too. I'm going to buy, buy toys. I'm going to feed them the no. little nasty ass breast milk from your breast that you want me to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, yo. I'm I, just saying. It's nothing wrong with it. I no, the breast milk is fine. I, I resent you dictating terms to the father like he doesn't have a say. I had a say when we was having that sex that made that I mean, baby. at this point, it's just like, I don't know. I've kind of given up on the male species a little oh bit. Oh, my God. I mean, I, you like the girls I was talking about earlier. Y'all have a couple of bad relationships. Oh, my God. You done gave up I mean, on I've love. I talked to people and everything. It's not like it's just on my personal experience. Like, don't make That's it seem, because you're so but stubborn, Nikki. But like, don't you make it seem like it's on my own personal experience. It is that because you want. Point. Dom, I've did she not say that things. when a dude break up with her, he got three days to come back or then it's a cut thing? So is it wrong to have have a three-day rule why is it always your rules though i'm not i'm not i'm are not not dealing are you not no 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 no, no, no. i'm not opposed to rules i'm i'm opposed to dictatorial rules like why can't it be compromising because this is rules? my thing this is my thing about it when i say a three-day rule it's like you had three day it should i feel like if you're in a relationship it really shouldn't take that long to get over how do you know how it's how do you know now, how you know the level of my pistosity now let's speak on of a situation that we're talking about of my situation <laughs> especially with i don't want to put your personal business on it I'm fine with it. It's okay. okay. It's like what I'm saying to you for you to supposedly or whatever reason that you got mad at me for supposedly looking at somebody. I mean, I'm being honest. The Not root me. of it came from looking at somebody. So if you're upset about that, anything to me is it after that is irrelevant I mean, because you got I'm, some, you got I'm some telling you eyes, like, but you know, i'm telling you, you that i did not you're not listening to I'm me listening to you. no you're not and this is what i hate no, about me i'm it's telling like, you you don't, you don't me, listen you're like, telling me like if it's like if, a curse to look nice because it's like oh well dudes don't take me serious when i get upset because you it's like it. you're adorable we've been doing this show we, so we've we been doing upset. this show like, no, for three months you you know i take your opinion seriously you're annoying as fuck but i take your opinion very serious don't do that. Don't act like I don't respect you. Oh, look, so you look, somebody going to inherit this three-day rule. I'm not sitting around and saying, like, shut up. So explain. explain. <laughs> <laughs> the three-day rule is basically, like, you have three days to really, for us to sit down and come to, like, an understanding of why, of why, of why you were upset. Like, if it takes more than three days to figure it out, then it's something really deeper than that situation. Especially on the situation I told you about. If you tell me that I was looking at somebody and I told you that I wasn't, then you need to take my word that I was not. Because I would not 
disrespect you like that. Now, if I was looking at somebody, I'm an adult enough. Like, I'm 27. Niggas is adults now. If I was looking at somebody, I was looking at somebody. But ain't nobody on the east side of Baltimore I'm about to be breaking my neck or crashing my car for it. And it's just not been to happen. First of all, don't come at east side. I mean, I'm just being honest with y'all. I mean, y'all okay out there, but, you know. Y'all okay. Just, Yo, just coming from the west bad. side, girl. Don't, don't let I'm it from the up. county. Oh, and my like, God. You definitely can't speak with these city. I can. Because it's decent looking dudes. It's still ugly dudes in the county, but it's decent looking dudes in the county, too. But at the end of the my day, it's no east is, Baltimore dude that's make, about to have me breaking my neck. Always if your name is not Trey make. Songs, and I hope Trey Songs is watching, then... I'm or Kevin saying. Gates, or Kevin or Gates, Kevin Gates. Right. Just or Kevin, right? Then I ain't breaking my neck for you, so yeah. And you should take my word. Like, is my word not good enough for and you to? Be? I've been on the show with you, so no. Wow. <laughs> your word. So ain't my good. so women's word is not good enough when no, it comes. No, your, your word. My word. Your word ain't good enough. That's fine. But once again, I will. I will end a relationship based upon, and it is my pride, and I will take sole responsibility about it. I will end a relationship for not being guilty. I apologize for making him feel some type of way if I did, but I'm not saying sorry for looking at somebody. I didn't look at somebody. Uh -huh. Flat out. You just, you realize that all your things is about you. About what you want. I'm a very selfish. Feel. Because I've been given my whole life, and for once in my life, I finally decided to be about me. So if I'm wrong for that, then so be First it. First of all, you can't go through the rest of your life being about you. Marriages is not about you. Raising kids are not about you. Building I'm a life is not, not about you. Not in none of those situations right now. What I'm now, saying, eventually so. you're going to be in those situations. And I will. And I will deal with it when it comes to plan. But right now, I'm being about me. And that's oh nothing God. wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking time for yourself. Y'all going to be 40 still... Being about you, but taking That's time fine. for yourself. I'll be 40 with 50 cats, still being about me, happy as fuck. Like, you're not going to sit around and tell me that I'm wrong for taking time to be selfish. Like, it's nothing wrong with being Why selfish. Why always attack me like I'm against you? Because you always make it seem like I'm wrong for wanting to no, be to you, myself. I think you, you speak. For to have so much experience, you speak with someone with no experience. That's what I'm saying. You speak flawedly. That's when, fine. when you should when you should speak more and dial like I know you know better you out here telling these motherfuckers this inaccurate shit about relationships when you know damn well it don't work like that what to give someone a three day rule if you no you have to say your boyfriend decision. hurts your feelings really bad like something you really gotta process and get out your feelings does it usually take you three days? I'm not going to hold that. That's too much anger. Listen, that's too much. Who says you anger? Sometimes you just need some space. Like that. Sometimes you just need some space to get I'm together. 20, I'm a 24-hour kind of person. 24 if I can't let that shit. 24 hours? Yeah. Stop. Please tell me. Please so tell, you're telling me if you're married to somebody, you're going to take a week? Uh, I'm not unreasonable by saying sometimes that three-day rule is too quick. Sometimes it takes longer to decompress, correct? I understand both points. Um. I understand both points. So it's like in, in in her defense, I think she's saying she's big on communication. So she if it's something going on, let's talk about it. Yes. But if you sitting around letting it simmer just shows her that this ain't where she wanna be. How, I get that, but I get what you're saying too, is that sometimes you might be upset and you need to be able to cool off before you say some things that you regret or you don't mean. I get that too. And sometimes it's longer than three days. Listen, it's but sometimes, but see, sometimes with men, what I think women don't understand about us because we'll we'll women rarely say this. We'll always say this if it applies years later. Damn, she won and got away, or we'll be able to because we need to reflect. So we need to really reflect. Sometimes we got to get in a whole another situation and say, you know what. She was the right one. We need to kind of see things. We are rational. Y'all are emotional. So you right. you need to get now. Now, well, I'm moving on. Us, we need to be able it's to not even work a through it. Moving on type situation, but you need to be able to communicate. Like communication is very. Sometimes key. it takes time to be able to. Well, listen. To, that's to, one yes. thing that we don't to process and understand it. So that's let's true. be real, very realistic here. You sitting around, you carrying this shitty ass attitude. What about if they die the next day? So now, but that's oh, now, so dramatic. No, it's this not. Shit. It is like, not dramatic. So that's like, how you justify the quick decision. Yes. But let's be very realistic. Like I'm being very realistic with you. You are. You got people. hits on your life, Mickey. 
No, I People don't have any. <laughs> no, but I'm so, gonna, so three days. So the I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you, you why. Killed you because of the simple fact. At the end of the day, when. This, this is what happened. And this is why I always try to tell people and I try to be very open with my friends and family because of the simple fact my grandmother passed away. I was supposed to see her the very next, like the next day, but I did not go. So at that point when it happened, that took a toll on me. So I always made a promise to myself that if I really fucks with you and I love you, I'm going to deal yes, with Yes, but I'm gonna every deal with the situation can now, let me finish. dealt let with me finish. quickly. Let me finish. Now, if you come to me and you know this and I told you that I'm big on communication, if I sit around and if you come to me like, look, Mickey, I'm mad at you right now. I need some time. I can respect that. Rello, don't start this. <laughs> don't start this, Rello. But I'm being honest. If you say like Mickey, like I'm really mad at you right now, I give you. I can. I'm an adult. I can respect you enough to be like, all right, I'm gonna give you some time. And I'd be like, all you right. Give me three days. I just. But you're t you're communicating this with me. If you don't communicate nothing with me, <laughs> yes, I'm giving your ass three days. Like you no, gotta go. You're not three my days. mother. You ain't right. my principal. I ain't in no time. And I'm not. And I'm not your wife. And all I don't need to stick around with for your shitty you ass attitude something. and everything. If you're supposed to be an adult, communicate your feelings at just the end of the day. Just because I'm not Plain communicating to you, communicate. Don't mean I'm communicate. A attitude. Just because I'm not communicating, don't mean. But I'm all you have to do. What did you just hear? What I just said. I don't have to say anything to you if I don't want to. And that's where I'm gonna just be like, okay, well. You gonna wait for me to calm down and I'll communicate you when I feel now, like. I'm being honest with you. I just got too much anger built up for stuff like that. Like, yo, see somebody, see somebody about that. See somebody about that. I told you about see a baby. better shrink. I, see a better shrink because it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Right. See how because you can't take your past aggression out on me. Like that's not cool. Three days, interesting. Right, well, she here talking bullshit. Three days with no communication. Like y'all keep sitting around and saying like it's just three days. All right, I'm gonna text you. No. All right, I'll see you around. What I'm, I'm saying to you is that if you come to me and be like, look, Mickey, I am mad at you I, and I need space. I, I'm mad I at you. I don't that. have to come to you. No, and well, I don't have you. to sit around and deal with this little shitty ass attitude that you have. Like, we're supposed to be an adults. So we're supposed to be in a relationship. Stop trying to make it a childish thing. It's not Communication childish. Communication is key. It like, is nothing childish. Y'all sit around and say this all day long. And now when they really come into play, now, feel, now feelings become involved. I'm being logical about the situation. You want to be emotional because you're upset. <laughs> but I'm being logical wait, about wait, talking. Talking about yeah. something no. Is I'm it not emotional to take some time and ref and But then? isn't it logical to communicate that? Says you, the one who pissed wow. me off. Wow. You want, I'm you only communicating want me to communicate. with you. You only want me to communicate because you Nah, three trouble. days deaf too long. You know what kind of people <laughs> You know, got people go three days while talking single. Rello, Thank shut you. up. Thank you. 24 hours. You heard the Neo song. I don't want to go to bed mad at you. Like, it should no. never be those type right. of situations. You, right. We should I'm be able to go I'm gonna send to you deal with this situation. I'm going to hit you up when I cool down. That's, that's and I can respect that, but you're not saying nothing to me at all for three days. And even if I sit around and even I'm reach out to I'm going to send you the thumbs up. It doesn't seem like they think that you were wrong. Yes. And so you got me fucked up. You need to back off and let me... Reflect. I did. I think, I think Three days is not. It's not. I gave a whole time. week. That means that you oh, then you should have cut his ass off. Like, I gave a whole week. She gave him a week. I she gave a, how long did she <laughs> say three days, though? I do no, have I'm, a three day rule, but I'm very, I'm a lean person. Like, I'm not a fucked up person. My girl don't hit me in 72 hours. She's, She's single. single. Ha ha. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, come on. Y'all got to stop you. putting timetables on that. Y'all put timetables on every day. Timetables to fuck. Because that's one thing in the world that you don't get back. So why are you sitting around and wasting time? It's my time to waste. But listen, why are you up? But why are you wasting time? It's my time to waste. Okay. It's my time to waste. It's also my time to waste. If you can't wait until I cool down, our relationship oh, wasn't well. built on shit in the first place. See, look, fuck you, been sis, for three days. Okay, <laughs> fucking, so fucking somebody else, probably. Like, what are you talking about? Stop instigating. You're going to make I'm that just man sing. Dishonest. honest. Where's your girlfriend at? Let's ask that question. Who, mine? No, Rello. Oh. We asking him. Oh, Rello got all Pudgy J. Where's your girlfriend at, Pudgy J? Rello, you got all the biddies, yo. I'll be seeing your I'll be seeing your Facebook. You got all the biddies. But yeah, three days is not that long. And if Hold you really out. that upset, maybe you I'm need really, to go talk to somebody. Our relationship will be over about in a your week. Feelings. Sometimes I'm in my feelings. I don't want to talk to you. So <laughs> he you said, be, "I'm watching her now." <laughs> all right, <laughs> Steph Curry, with that long ass shot. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's not wrong though. You know, not Mickey wrong. hard to get, Rello. Hard, hard to get, hard to keep at this point. <laughs> Lord, I'm, <laughs> to keep it I'm very easy to keep. I'm very. Yo, she did blush. You know she <laughs> likes skin.
Stop it. <laughs> I'm very easy to keep. I'm not like a hard person to please at Girl, all. Girl, this mouth. I love like, a Boy, I don't know where your hands are dead. Girl, I like nice skin. I, whatever. I use what they call that thing in the little bottle all day at work. Hand sanitizer? Thank you. I call that. I use that like Where you think the germs go on your hands? No. I'm just saying. No, I'm just, I got like OCD. Cause I've, I've, seen, I've seen listen, too many white people walk out the bathroom when I wash my hands. There's enough females out here walking around with a nasty face. Don't make one of mine. Oh, my okay. God. I mean, it's I got nice cute. skin. It's hard. It's Miss, only, I have nice skin. Like, don't don't get it twisted. Only because our ancestors sold us up the river. They was in the house. Oh. <laughs> listen. <laughs> my ancestors is dark. Thank you very much. I got some Indian. Not, not all of them. Obviously. Not all of them. Somebody. But. Wait, so your point is communication, communication, yes. communication. Yeah, man, whatever. Ronald, shoot your shot when we off here. Get in the DMs. Well, she don't answer though, so get the number. He already has my phone number. Oh shit, shorty, you batting three fifty. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Hey yo, he batting three fifty. Communication is key. Yes. And he trying to communicate right now. Let's not worry about him. Okay, <laughs> let's not worry about him. But I don't know. I don't know, Mickey. I feel like you stuck in your ways too much, yo. I'm really not, and I'm very. It's everything is about you. It's your rules, nigga. Like, <laughs> nigga. I mean, is there something? It's not though, because when I even before I even get with someone, I'm very open with them. Like I tell them how I am, and your ways, correct? No, I only get stuck in my ways when I get upset. Because I feel like I mean that's I the do. that's the key point. Well, not to be stuck in your ways. The no, relationship is not about be. you. It's mm-hmm. two people. Okay. I make you happy, you make me happy. I'm a very understanding person. No, but you I'm want an excellent everything. girlfriend. You want everything to make you happy. Says you. I want some references. Next week, Mickey needs to bring references okay. to being an excellent girlfriend. If any girlfriend. of my exes still follow me or anything, if y'all know who my exes are, then please let them call them, give them something. Give them the number. Give them but the yeah, number. please let these, please let let these people know. Let them call this number. Take a screenshot. Matter of fact, if y'all still on air, call actually, me now. Actually, I could actually get my my ex mother. She could probably speak on my behalf. No, possibly. mother's lying for that for that nigga son. I'm no, not buying I it. mean we. I'm not buying it. She loved me. She loves me to death. But the she nigga, be honest. Mothers, with niggas, 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 mothers lie to the girls that, and for the moment too. So I'm not. <laughs> I'm not buying but we not even together no more. And we still they still they keep the lie going. Okay, whatever. You know, you, you, you don't want me. You know y'all trifling like anyway, that. Anyway, <laughs> y'all y'all trifling. No, I'm not that trifling, but. Don't do me you like know, that. Let's talk about something kind of political for a change. Did you catch the Oscars last night? I did not. Okay. I worked last night. And I had a problem with the Oscars for this. Not for, because the guy who did Get Out, he won for Best Original Screenplay. Yes. Um, well, yeah, thank you. He won. Um, Kobe Bryant won a weird Oscar for something. Something about an animated film. But this is my thing. In the age of... Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle and Black Lives Matter and all about the culture. I find it ironic that the culture is so less support our people, but they still crave and yearn to be accepted in white spaces. Like, why is, why is the Grammy or the American Music Awards so much held in higher prestige to black artists than the BET Awards? Why is the NAACP award not held on the same as the Oscars. And yeah, I know the history and all that, but I find it ironic that black people talk about black pride and all this, but they always want to be accepted in white spaces. I mean, I feel like maybe in a sense of like as an actor or being an actress. In general. And but I mean you're speaking on an Oscar standpoint. No, but it, it just it, it, it elevated. It just brought it to the attention now, that we're me, always talking about it, even in businesses. Now, but let me ask you this: Do you feel like the people are, that were nominated? Do you feel like they want to be accepted, or are they just being nominated because the white people felt like it was good enough for them to nominate? It? Think about the last couple of years. You remember a couple of years ago, it was um what was the hashtag Oscar so white because not a single minority or black person was nominated that year. I think it was 2016, 15, something like that. Then all of a sudden, the last couple of years, it's diversity everywhere because they got play paid to public. Like the white, the white America always do everything just enough to placate their, you know, placate their consumers. They want the black dollar. They want the black eye. The same thing with the NFL. They did enough not to alienate the blacks where, oh, don't kneel, but we want you to watch and all those others. My thing is this, like as a person who studied Black Wall Street, knows black history and all of that. I'm not saying you don't want to be seen as equal 
with your counterparts in everything. But I don't see I don't see color when I'm talking about that. You just want to be equal on all spectrums, whether it's man, woman, black, white, any color. Black people for talking about we're just coming off a historical month with this black pamper and you know uh, Wakanda forever. But it's still in order for blacks to feel validated in their craft, they got to get a white award somewhere. They always feel like they got to get a but white award. But once again, are they being nominated by the white people or are they nominating themselves? Because they don't, I mean, at the end of the day, the Oscars they are basically... Crave it though. He's so yeah, they're craving they the crave white acceptance. They but are they craving out. the acceptance of the white people or, the, or do they just want the Oscar? They're, they're craving both. They're you can't have one with the red. You can't separate the two. And I, and I don't want to bring... <laughs> I can't... Yeah, right. I don't want to bring Monique up in this because oh, no, because not even in defense of her, but I feel like this plays into the woman when she was talking about playing the game. And the, most people don't know the Oscars is not so much about who did the best work; it's about who can smooth those peoples in those rooms during award seasons. Oh, absolutely. Like your movie can be part, but it's about who made me laugh at the Golden Globes, who made me laugh at Con, like all of your all your movies. Because let's be serious, a lot of these actors like no lie. When you put when you put actors like Leonardo DiCaprio and Will Smith and Denzel in the same category, to me, they all on the same level. Will don't have an Oscar, but I feel like he is on the same level as the th two of them. So the only thing that separates them is who's kissing ass the best that year. Well, shit, Leonardo DiCaprio has been nominated so many times, and he finally he finally got one for a bullshit Shout movie. Out to his fine ass, Yo, like, no lie, Leonardo DiCaprio Oscar. is one of the greatest of his generation, and I feel like he should have. But it took him a very long time to be recognized upon that because he kept running up against shit. He ran up against Denzel. Yeah, with, yeah, but he kept running into bad things. I think it was a year where he he was nominated for The Aviator, Will was nominated for Ali, and Denzel was nominated for Training Day. That was a hell of a year. That was a good movie year. That was a hell of a year to be in that category. But the point is, like, I'm, I want my blacks in every field, whether it be art, whether it be music, whether it be literature and, like, ballet and all that. I want them to get that recognition, but I want them to feel as though when they get a black award, it is just as good as a white award. But we still have this stigma where it always comes back to this. White is best. There's a reason that a Chanel bag can be $5,000, but some black, don't let no black, you know, no black designers charge you $5,000. Like if the quality is the same, how dare they? But these these white actors I mean, who sometimes but like you said though, but a lot of these black owners that you, that we were talking about before the show, they locally based. So once like I just said around and asked you with the entrepreneurs and everything, if you are doing these kind of things, you your goal like yes is to feed your family, but your goal is to be somewhat international at the end of the day because of the simple fact is that you can't charge. I mean you can, but you can't sit around and charge a bitch in Baltimore five thousand dollars on a little bag that you made in your house and think that she about to sit around and buy it. Compared yeah. to, compared Chanel, Chanel and them ain't start, them bags listen, started. Listen to the brand. Listen to the brand that you're saying right now. They started off in Mama's Kitchen. You're, you're not listening, though. At the end of the day, they started off there. And look at where they came to. Yes, you sit around and you you maybe do it for maybe $500. And then when you get big enough, then you sit around and do it for five cents. No, but I, I still, I still can't support the whole that, you know, the, these, act, these, these black celebrities in certain fields, like they're still craving the white acceptance, the white validation. It, it seems like once I mean, you accept this- they still wanna feel equal. They're already equal. The coach has been telling them they've been equal forever. Why is it? But to be, I mean, I guess in, this, in the sense to accept the award of it. I mean, I, for me, I guess on the outside looking in, the Oscars is something any actor or actress would want at the end of the day. I don't know. Well, we just that. got there, though. They just started giving us little, you know, what do you call it? The trof trophy recognitions. Cynthia Poitier was the only person in, um, what is it, Hattie McDaniel for years. I'm sure there's some black actors in them black and white days who deserve some damn Oscars. I'm pretty sure it was. I don't know. I mean, and I feel like you, I, feel I like stopped they, watching the Oscars after a while. I mean, I be, I may watch the red carpet and every now, but what you're talking about is like, but people sit around and we still watch it because we. No, the see. funny thing is, I did. I caught it in my Twitter feed. I didn't watch it. 
Because mm-hmm. I feel like the Oscars are burned out at this point. Boo. I mean, people still, for me, it's like, I mean, I love the dresses. I love what yeah. it, you know, but that's. that's but and then they start me. doing this thing where they, is we only got a, a certain amount of token blacks who can get it. They at the point where they starting to recycle. Remember, um, what is it? Denzel and Oprah, the last two years at the Golden Globe, last two years at the Golden Globe got something called the, uh, uh, sees somebody Sabell awarded the Golden Globes. I feel like y'all they recycling the the acceptable blacks. It's never the radical ones. Radical like somebody who would be up in their face. Such as I'm looking for an example. Who would be an example? Well, we can't use Ryan Coolidge because he's like right on, like he's fresh in people's heads. But who's another one? Damn. I forget these people's names, like these con awards, they're not as, they don't come off the tongue as much because I don't hear their names as much. But there's plenty of black indie filmmakers who I hear where their movies don't get as much play because they ain't got the push. But because they, they're talking or doing things that aren't accepted in Pencilltown, they don't get the recognition. I'm surprised they gave the dude who did get out because I thought them white people would snuff at that. I mean, but it was acceptable to them because it was enough to, I mean, for them to realize what they really do at the end of the day, but it was done neatly where but, like, it's but, like, okay, it was done subliminally. But was it acceptable or was it, this is how the Oscars get over on you. And I, I meant to say this earlier, they gave Jordan Hill, um, Heat, um, the award. Pill. Pill. Was it, I thought it was Heat. No, well, he's Peel. spelling his name wrong on Twitter. Um, the award. At the same award in the in the in the year of the Time Is Up or Me Too movement, they gave Gary Oldman and Kobe Bryant. They haven't been convicted of anything. Let me say this disclaimer: two dudes who have been accused of both domestic violence and rape awards. So my thing is this: the the Oscars is so messy that they give you a token award here, but do some dismissive shit here. You see what I'm saying? How did, how did that appeal to the women who've been sexually harassed or made to... Did you see that, Don? How the Oscars gave the guy the award, but Kobe and Gary Oldman got awards, and they're supposed to be accused of domestic violence and, and rape. In the, in the year of Me Too, this is what the Oscar does. See, I think you overthought it a little bit. Did I overthink it or did I just see? When did the Kobe situation happen? That's a re- my point is reason. Like what I'm saying is people are losing their the jobs for stuff that well, happened. Didn't we just talk to- about Chris Brown not too long no, ago? No, what I'm saying was so like, we forgave what about the old ass beating that he did? So this is my like- point. Like they selective. Like the guy, what's his name? What was the dude? The high, high, Harvey Weinstein. His shit was supposed to happen years and years ago, but they were still bringing it up. So Kobe's gets swept up. I'm about if we gonna bring it up. Nobody's excluded. Black, white, all of them get lumped in the same shit. You can't be picking and choosing what's but the best. But Kobe's career didn't mess up due to this little act, whatever happened. What I'm saying is like, because the, it, it only brings my attention because the women were so outraged on Twitter. They were like, the Gary Oldman thing, and then Kobe, they like, what? Like, how did that happen? Like, I mean, people still like Kobe, and then he retired. Then he retired last year, something yeah, he like did. that. So no, I'm then, not. A, I'm not personally upset. I'm just saying it's like, even though awards when they're giving out equality and say they, you know, they're about the cause, they be doing their own silly shit at the same time. Yeah, but I feel like maybe you only peeped that a little bit. I guess in the other woman that was upset about no it women. Too. I mean, the Twitter was going off. Like, oh, okay, yeah. How oh, did y'all hear about Chloe Kardashian? I'm sorry, but they dragged her little ass too a little bit. She was talking about like up, uplifting <laughs> each other and stuff, and they was like, "Well, you didn't uplift it when you took somebody else, man." And oh she was shit! Or oh, how you be taking other people, man? I mean, who said Chloe? Cause you know she went. All she did, all she did was take Tristan. Jesus. But he had a pregnant girlfriend or whatever. Okay, sis. A lot of y'all have slept with people's boyfriends while and girls now was I'm pregnant. I'm wrong for wanting a pregnancy alone. Listen to what you're saying right now. Like, Look, just, if we get pregnant, you share this damn baby with me, point blank, period. We would never get pregnant, so that's fine. Shit. Um, yeah, but I'm no, she can't sit. Around, she can't sit around and really talk about <laughs> uplifting each other, but. She really Why can she? Cause just cause you carrying the child and you want somebody to uplift you, you didn't drag a lot of low other people. You didn't. She oh she still. I mean my I like man. Chloe. Don't get me wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't sold other people men before. But she was married to Lamar and then she was with 
Who else? She, uh, French Montana. That was a fling. I heard her in the game, did a little That something. was a fling. And those were nobody's men. Those were two hoes. So who else? Oh, wow. Two hoes. <laughs> two hoes. <laughs> and then sometimes, and, and let me say this as a person who is not a proponent of cheating. Sometimes you meet a person in the wrong circumstance. They involved. You hoping they break up with their significant other? So bye, so, boy, bye. <laughs> so you, so you, um, so you wait for it to happen, or sometimes you just gotta take them. You gotta take them sometimes. And but people were upset when they got side chicks and all this other little ratchet stuff that happens. Like, no, this I'm what, see. This is what I'm talking. About. I don't believe in oh, you becoming the side chick and all. I believe if you want them, go get them and become the one and only. I'm pretty sure they played the side chick if they still had somebody, though. No, I've stolen. If you're texting and stuff no, like that, so how are you going to steal I've stole, somebody? I've stolen girls without being the side nigga. Like, you... You don't not even... But you still have to communicate with you them. You can communicate. All you do is entice them with a better view. You don't have to do anything but just pique their interest. Mm, okay. it, can you not pique a dude's interest without becoming... You unstable? still have to do some type of communication at the end of the day. Conversation. Conversation, that's it. Dom, can you not Why steal somebody with conversation? Why too many LOLs is flirting after a while? Two LOLs in the conversation, it's a flirt. Shut up. Like, you just be making <laughs> shit up. <laughs> you just if be she, making if shit up. If she giggling two times, it's a flirt. <laughs> no, bitch, stop laughing. It's nothing funny. Like, no, y'all flirting Who after a while. Who <laughs> What do you mean? Like, you My be, parents raised me. You be everywhere. And I'm yeah. selfish. My Clearly. father was selfish. And I'm spoiled. So, so if, you, selfish, if we was together, you went to my phone and, like, my best friend sent me two LOLs back to back. She flirting? But I know that's your best friend. No, you don't know because I ain't going to tell you, but. Why wouldn't I know that? Because. I read the conversations beforehand. Why are you that thing in my phone? <laughs> like, let's be realistic here. Why? I'm going to look all the way through. No. Well, okay. thank God I del- Thank God I'm one of them dudes who deletes my threads on a daily basis. Now he hiding. Okay. Well, y'all can follow me <laughs> on Facebook, or Facebook at Mickey Jones and Instagram at Mickey Bands. Don't date her. You can, fo- you can follow me on Leo Grand Prince on IG. And Jamal Vitos on Facebook and Twitter. I swear to God, y'all, we're going to stop this two-man show next week. Bop, Roxy, Mickey, me, we bringing all our happy asses back here because this last two weeks of half the crew ain't been working because we've been winging it. Um, I'm hoping to have another business segment guest next week. I'm hoping not to find the ratchets. I got I forgot who's on next week. I'm not sure oh if it's... God, um, I'm not sure if it's the hairstylist or some. I don't know who on, but okay. I know it's a business. Somebody on. But um, y'all know where to find us. Monday, 7 p.m. on Radio on Fire. Y'all have a good night.